in times of crisis, you can trust sports to do its bit. And even though football can be tribal, today there was a coming together. Fans and players draped in yellow and blue to stand with Ukraine and its people. But the emotion for Man City's Alexander Zinchenko and Everton's Vitaly Mikalenko was too raw. Emotions too at Chelsea as the club's billionaire Russian owner Roman Abramovich, following increased pressure, announced he's giving up stewardship of the club. In a statement, he said, I have always taken decisions with the club's best interest at heart. I remain committed to these values. That is why I am today giving trustees of Chelsea's charitable foundation the stewardship and care of Chelsea FC. It's believed after almost 20 years, this means Mr Abramovich is taking a step back, no longer involved in day-to-day -day club business. But it's not clear how long for. I think Roman Abramovich will have taken legal advice and will have been concerned that potentially Chelsea Football Club could have been seized from him and transferred effectively to the British government. He didn't want that. So by going through these particular steps, I think he's trying to protect both the football club, but more importantly himself. Already, Russia has lost playing host to the Champions League final. Its F1 Grand Prix in Sochi has been axed. And today, Poland and Sweden declared they'll refuse to play their Russian counterparts in playoffs for this year's World Cup. Some believe they shouldn't be allowed to be there at all. They are not very happy with that, uh, those decisions, of course, and thought that uh, uh, sports and football should not be linked with politics. But that's exactly how Russia has been using sports in the past. So I think it's good to see that the sports are also showing that they have a, their, their own opinion. And as I said before, that human rights are more important than finances. But today was about support for Ukraine fans in Bradford clapping in solidarity. An Aston Villa player supporting his teammate currently in Kiev and a top flight club pleading for peace on the global stage. As Russia is punished, it is Ukraine that still suffers. That is the bigger picture. Football today, united in its desire for peace, played a small part. In Zaman Rashid, Sky News.